हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर सी सी एन ए टू हंड्रेड डैश थ्री जीरो वन सीरीज टूडे इज डे थर्टी फाइव इन डे थर्टी फाइव वी आर गोइंग टू डू ए वन बेसिक लैब ऑन ओ एस पी एफ एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बेसिक टेबल अबाउट ओ एस पी एफ दैट इज राउटिंग टेबल एंड डेटा बेस टेबल नेबर टेबल इन ओ एस पी एफ एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ ओ एस पी एफ सो लेट स्टार्ट सी हियर Uh, in packet tracer i already design a lab let me show you that one see here i consider two router first i am doing a, sma a small lab with area 0 later we will have more routers are multiple area so here i am taking area 0 and this is a router r1 i am taking another router as r2 we have two routers and uh, router one interface i assign the ip ad ip address 201 dot one dot one dot one and the router two interface that is f zero by one as two uh, two not one dot one dot one dot two so these are the two interface between van this is van because we are covering the this is different location this is one location and this is another location and this one we can consider this is lan inside the organization this is our organization one organization one or i can uh, say company 1 this is company 1 this is company 2 or maybe we can say branch this is branch 1 and this is branch 2 so these two branches are connected with a router with this uh, ip address we are using here and this is our lan network i am considering lan ne network as 192.168.1.1 here and in another uh, uh, branch is 192.168.2.1 so this is our pcs are connected and uh, from last video or our from this series we already learn how to connect how to do that one we know that one already if you miss that video please watch this series completely you will have idea how to design this network in packet tracer so now today we are we are going to do we are going to do configuration and we are going to check that one so let me bring the notepad i am going to show you in the notepad what configuration i already wrote before because to, to save the time and to make the video short see here generally we know this from here to here we already know let me write he from here to here we know already this but anyhow i will explain if anyone is new and they don't know uh, we need to assign the ip address to the router this is the one interface f0 by 1 and another interface is f0 by 0 these two interface we are using so we need to assign the ip address to these two interface how we will assign we will first write enable we will go in the enable mode then we will go in the configuration mode and i want to change the router name into r1 so what i will do host name r1 so here router name will change then i will type int interface that is f0 by 0 this one interface f0 by 0 then i am going to assign the ip address ip address 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask we need to write this is class c the class c subnet mask we know that 255.255.255.0 and then we need to write no shut because by default cisco, cisco router ports are down so we need to write no shut to become up then we will see this interface f0 by 1 here is f0 by 1 and then we will assign the ip address that is this ip ip address 201.1.1 and then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then no shut till here everyone know this one in our last video and in our uh, series we done this so many time now we are learning this new thing that is ospf protocol how to configure we are as same we will do as we do for rip like we wrote before router rip but here what we will write router ospf 1 this is process id we can give 1 2 3 now i am taking as a one so router ospf1 then we need to write network then network id then wild card mask then area in which area we are uh, we are uh, configuring this ospf we need to write that area so we are taking area 0 in our first lab and second lab later we will do multiple area so now remember we will consider as area 0 how we will calculate network id in our last video we already discussed if you miss you can watch so let me show you here also see this is ip 192.168.1.1 so if i want to calculate the network id first i need to write in this is a class c ip address so i will write here this is a class c class c ip address in class c we have three network path one host path 
so what we will do whatever wherever we have host we will make as zero so this is the ip address i will write 192.168.1.1 so this is network this is network this is network this is host so i will make this as zero so what it will become 192.168.1.0 so this is a network id i wrote here this is a network id okay from here to here then wildcard mask wildcard mask also i shown you already in the video if you miss you can see or in, in easy words we can say it is a opposite of subnet mask so what is the subnet mask for class c that is 255.255.255.0 so opposite is the 0.0.0.255 okay or we can do easy way we need to write first you uh, global subnet mask that is 255 255 four time and subtract from that one so if i want to subtract i will write 255 what is class c this is 255 255 this is 255 and here is zero i will subtract so this is zero this is zero this is zero i have zero 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 dot zero dot zero dot 255 like this okay anyhow i already teach this in our last two video you can see that one so this is a sub uh, wildcard mask 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 then we need to write area and which area area 0 we are considering so this interface configuration we done now we need to do this interface so i will write again network then network id this is a network id 201.1.1. this will become 0 as i teach you here so it is like this then wildcard mask we already see how we can calculate so this is a wildcard mask then we need to write area 0 this is a configuration for this router is done okay let me move to second con uh, router configuration so see here in second router configuration also we will do same thing we will write uh, let me bring the notepad to another side so it is easy for you to see this is a second router okay so now we are going to do the configuration for second router so i will bring second router this is a second router configuration and this is a diagram okay so what first we will write enable then config t then host name r2 i will write this is r2 right first one we told r1 so this one i will give as a r2 so this is r2 then after r2 what we will do we will write in uh, interface f0 by 0 this is f0 by 0 then ip address we will assign 192.168.2.1 and subnet mask then no shirt same thing here we will do f0 by 1 and we will assign this ip address and no shirt then uh, ospf how we done here same thing we will do router ospf one then network network we need to write then interface whatever interface i have this one so i will write network id of this one then uh, wildcard mask then area zero same thing i will do for this interface also network then network id wildcard mask area zero so this is also done now i will copy this one then we are going to paste in the route okay so from here to here from here to here this is a configuration i am going to copy this one let me copy this and go in the router cli mode then here i will write no then i will paste the configuration here okay so let me paste the configuration here so our configuration came here everything is okay no issue and everything is working fine i will press enter enter so this one one side we finish i will now close this one let me copy the configuration for the another router and i copy the second router configuration okay so this is the second router configuration let me copy and then we will go to the router the router so see here uh, now i will double click this one so this is the cli for the router 2 i will type here no then i will paste the configuration okay so this is the configuration this is the router 2 and this two interface assign and we configure the ospf okay so let me see here everything is okay no issue no problem then we are going to check the our table let me try to ping from this pc to this pc if it is working then we can say ospr o ospf is configured successfully and then we are going to check the inside the database table and everything also so let me try uh, let me go to the here i am going to ping here ping uh, 
192.168.2.2 okay so let's see still it is not configured it is waiting destination host unreachable it will take some time let me do again let me ping again i am giving the correct ip address right 2.2 .2. what is the ip address for this one 2.2 let me check i assign the ip address or not to this pc at 2.2 .2 and this is 2.1 so they should ping now let's try again because uh, reply is coming or not we need to check 192.168.2.2 request timeout now reply is coming see when we configure it takes some time so we need to wait and then again try so now it is a reply is coming so our ospf is configured successfully now we will go inside the router and we are going to check the the tables what table we have if we want to check show ip ospf i will write neighbor so we will see the neighbor table so this is a neighbor table in this we will have whatever neighbor i have in this so this is a neighbor for this one let me show you see this is router this is router r1 i am checking here so this one is connected right so this is the neighbor directly connected we say as a neighbor so this is a neighbor this is the neighbor we are getting here okay this is a neighbor now i will check another that is i will write uh, show ip ospf database so this is the database table let me show you this is a database table we have link state and we have network state in coming video we are going to check uh, discuss about the status also we have link state network state and other states so we are going to do that one also but now just see this one show, show ip osp of database then we will have database of that one and now we will see show ip protocol so with this one we can check what routing protocol is working so here we can see ospf is working and here if you see we have the router id router id is 201.1.1 we are going to discuss router id also in our next video what is router id and how router is going to take as a router id like that okay now just see this is a which protocol is running and what is the router id if i want to see we can see show ip protocol okay now we will go for the routing table we will write show ip root so this is a routing table we have if you see here o means ospf this one these two are the directly connected network this one and this one and this o is uh, we get from the ospf okay same thing if we go for another router we will have like that database table will be unique for uh, all the router so that we will have same show ip ospf database see we get same that is uh, router link state we have same as we get there also now if i want to see the show ip ospf neighbor we will get who is neighbor neighbor for this router is 200.1 or 201.1.1.1 if you can see here this is a router neighbor to this router is this one so we have this information in this okay and uh, here you can uh, also check show ip protocol so which protocol is running here ospf is running see this one and the router id is here for this router what is the router id 201.1.1.2 and if i want to check routing table we can write show ip root this is a routing table these two are the directly connected and the other route which is uh, we are learning from the ospf is this one okay and we are getting which interface it is configured example see this one i want to show you this is a route o, o o means ospf this is a route we are learning from ospf and it is saying it is configured on which interface it's configured in e0 by 1 so this is the e0 by 1 okay so this is the osp of basic uh, lab in coming video we are going to do some theory and uh, then we are going to do one more lab we will have four or five video about osp of okay thank you very much for seeing our video and subscribe to our channel like our video share with your friend see you bye